Hi everyone, I'm Shahzad and in this video we will talk about uh, a control which is grid control which is present in Windows Presentation Foundation 4. Grid control is used and is one of the very basic controls uh, to have to define our layout on the Windows Presentation Foundation Windows and Farms. Grid control is by default uh, present on uh, the WPF and Silverlight projects. Uh, it gives, it allows us to adjust or uh, define our different controls in rows and column based layout. We can think of uh, like we are working with the table in HTML. So it's almost similar but with a lot more flexibility. And we will, what we will do in this video, we will go through a user interface and in that user interface we will try to build up a page which uh, we will try to make a page which is a visual studio startup page so we will start with a project so let me open the visual studio and in visual studio we can do we can file new project and windows presentation foundation and here we can say grid control so when the project starts up we get a main window and within the main window we get a xaml so let me um, make this window a little bit smaller so i can increase my code area so this is the default uh, window and within the window Visual Studio automatically starts with a grid control. Now, with this, within the grid control, we can define our columns and rows. And to define that, what we can do is grid dot row definitions. And within the grid dot row definition, we can put row definition columns. So, we uh, if we want to put four rows we can put four rows here and similarly to define our columns we can say grid dot column definitions and within the column definition we can put as many columns as we want so i will put two columns in here so now i have a grid control uh, it has two columns and four rows so if i want more columns i can add more columns and if uh, i want more rows i can add here more rows now within these columns and rows i can insert my controls so let's insert a label control in the beginning and now we have to place as i said we we can create or uh, define our controls within these grid uh, rows and columns or we can say within the cells of this grid so here i have to specify which cell this label will be placed in so i can say column is zero and grid dot row is zero and And as we are trying to make something like Visual Studio, so I will just give a start page here. Now I can set background color to blue and foreground color to white. Okay. And now I need to bring this text in the middle. So what I can do, I have properties like horizontal content alignment and I can say center and similarly vertical content alignment is again center. So this text is will now become in the middle of the cell. Okay. So we have inserted label control within the first row and first column of this grid okay next is um, group box so i will insert the group box column uh, group box control 
which is again a WPF control and to specify its location I have to set grid dot row no we will insert it into row 1 and grid dot column is same column will be 0 and its header I can set and in Visual Studio we have uh, here say recent projects and uh, again we can set here the background to white and foreground to black okay i will now make two more copies of the group box and simply put into another next row so row number two and row number three in row number two i will say getting started so our header will be getting started and in next row it will be headlines okay so now we have this thing and now I need to insert something on this side. So on this side I will take and make another copy of the group box and this time I will change the column. So I will say column 1 and row uh, 1 and this will be our what we have in Visual Studio at this place is the online stuff so we can say the online articles will come here okay now within the group box I need to create a list of online articles and for that what I can do I can insert a list box list box is another control in WPF so within the list box I can insert my list box item list box items and I can say article 1 and we can create as many list box items as we want and we have to just increment the number here So now we will try to run and see how does it looks like. Okay, so we can see we have different cells and uh, in rows and columns this grid is formed and when we maximize or minimize the advantage is it automatically adjusts all these cells adjust to the space that this window has. But they, uh, it, it doesn't look really good and professional because first of all this space we don't need for the recent projects and this start page should be here and these recent projects and getting started uh, they, they don't need that much space so what we can do here to adjust the space automatically according to the contents we have something here when we define the rows and columns what we can specify is in row definition we can specify the height and that we can set to auto and in column definition we can specify the width and we can set to auto so you can see when we will run this project it will it has automatically adjusted so now we can see this area uh, where we have this uh, list box is using the maximum space because these the, this the first column is using only the space that is required but now what we need to do is this list box has to be bigger it has to cover up all this space in this area but as it is using only this cell now we need to see what options do we have to enlarge to cover more than one cell and also this start page should also cover these two columns so to do that we have the option and that option is called column span and row span for example for the label we can say we, we have specified location and we can say
grid dot column span so in the column span we can specify like it should cover from column one two or three so we say it will cover two columns so we've specified the span of this control to cover two columns and similarly for the group box here um, where we specify the online articles we will specify the row span so grid dot uh, row span and row span if we say two you see it is automatically covering two if we say three it is covering three cell so if we have more we can specify more uh, uh, span here and now if we run it we, you will see the difference and you see this is now covering two columns and this control is covering three rows so we can use this uh, row span or the column span if we want one control to cover more than one rows or columns so you see using these uh, using the grid control we can design out our layout which is very flexible and in the next video we will see a few more options